Hi everyone, this is Bila from The Transients. Uh, I've decided to make this little tutorial video because we've had a lot of people ask us how we get the bass sound in one day. Uh, here's a little snippet of the track. Okay, so that bass sound was made within Reason 4. Um, so you just start with a blank canvas here and right click and we're going to create a mixer. Uh, you're gonna, I'll just go through and we'll put the settings in as we go. So you want to set this to about 54 and the auxiliary 1 to about 105. <coughs> So then underneath it, right click and choose the screen for distortion. And if you tab, you can see that it's automatically routed to the auxiliary one send, which I've just turned up. So put the settings in for this. So damage control to 68. And we want to set this to tube and these two settings here to about 113 and 109 and we use this rough EQ here we'll set that to about 3 and minus 18 as well as 26 uh, turn the body on Set that to type E, um, 0, 60, and 0 again. So that's all set up now. We don't have to touch that anymore. That's That'll provide the grit and the distortion to the bass. So to make the bass, the actual synthesis part, we create a Thor. And that was right clicking again. Now I've got mine set to initialize the patch on load, but if yours isn't, right click and choose initialize patch. Then we'll go show programmer. And you can see that it's already inserted an analog oscillator, which is good because we use one. Set it to octave 5 and leave it on sawtooth. That's all good. This one here is turned on, meaning this uh, analog oscillator is now going to this filter. We also want a oscillator 3 and analog again. Uh, set it to triangle and set it to 3. So this will be our sub bass. Um, turn on 3, which is now going to this filter 2, which will make a state variable. Um, so the settings for this is we'll set this to about 99 and frequency to about 280, 287. Um, you can leave the rest of it, leave it on low pass. Um, we'll change the settings of this one. Uh, so set the drive to 36. Uh, frequency all the way up and resonance to about 70 okay so this sub bass here is going into this filter we then need to turn this switch on to actually get the sound going to the amp the first ones already going through so we should be able to hear that um, I'll put in the other settings before I actually play the bass so we don't really use the filter envelope, don't need, need can turn that off. The amp envelope, crank these two up to full. And we've got a chorus on, so settings for that will be about 13 milliseconds. Um, leave that at zero. Turn the rate on to about 0.3. You can adjust these to how you like, really. Uh, 32, 
it's on 32 and about 36 wet level okay so then we also want the LFO two on this will create like the ducking side chain um, flow of the the baseline so turn tempo sync on put the rate to about one quarter no delay and we want it to ramp up so choose this waveform here so I'll show you what that sounds like now and I'll just paste in the baseline so you can hear it so not that great for now so to finish it off we will need to go into the matrix here and add a few settings so we want this LFO2 here to react with the sound so choose LFO2 do it for three of them and we're going to want this first one to about 80 and set the destination to filter drive which is filter one drive okay so LFO2 to about minus 30 and we'll set that to filter two frequency and the last one the LFO will control the amp so set that to 100 and that will choose the amp gain so now when I play I'll just change the tempo to what the song is that it's uh, now ducking and doing everything you want it to so I mean good things to play around with here would be frequency um, the octaves the different waves course you could also always play with the scream settings that's it I'll be putting a combinator patch of this on the transist.net website uh, you'll also be able to download a free mp3 track every month and thanks for watching.